because I saw my sister playing violin, and so I was like, hey, I want to play too. And, and then I continued throughout my entire, what is it? Life public life. school career, career. Life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and Up now you're um, so now I am a junior and last year I had the wonderful chance to go to Carnegie Hall because Mrs. Mallory just threw me that opportunity and now and yeah it was really great I got to meet a lot of people from around the country This is Dom Guillen. Hi, Hi Dom. You're a senior at Dragon High School, correct? Yes, I am. So why don't you tell me about your experience? Well, let's see. Jeez. Uh, well, I mean, I'll give you a little backstory to uh, my musical career. Uh, all throughout my life, I've uh, generally suffered from uh, having a speech impediment. I, I started uh, starting when I was about five years old, and uh, and I uh, continued on ever since then. And so my childhood was fairly lonely. I didn't really have that many friends. I, uh, I was constantly made fun of, whether it would be by students or by teachers. Uh, it generally, I just didn't have the greatest childhood experience. And so uh, from about first to sixth grade, I was I uh, had a few scattered scattered friends, but uh, never really had that many interests, uh, just because I was far too afraid to just speak in front of everyone. But then second grade rolled around, and uh, both of my brothers, uh, who had been involved in the music program, had been involved in the in the spring musical that was offered at the junior high, and I said, "All right, I'll do that." And so um, I auditioned with no singing experience, no acting experience, no dancing experience, and I was told to come back for a callback. And so I, I was the only person in seventh grade who uh, was actually involved in uh, the musical who had, I had lines, I had solos, I had solo dances, so I mean like, the, the junior high was that first gateway into really a new life. I mean, but music was really that gateway into getting me involved socially. I mean, I I don't know what my life would be without music because I mean, I didn't really have a life without music. And so, I mean, music was just something that gave me a second shot at life. It was music really has changed my life completely. I definitely plan on pursuing music. Uh, further in my life. I plan on becoming a special education teacher and helping kids uh, who have speech impediments and things like that. And uh, I also plan on minoring in music therapy so that I can also expose those kids to music and show them how much it can really affect you and how it can affect your life so positively and in such a great way. Yes, it has. I would have committed suicide by now if not. Shut up! <laughs> I've actually been, many times I've sat in math class and thought if I can just jump off that roof, I will not have to learn this formula. That's what I have thought. But music brings me back, right? Yeah, yeah. music brings me back from the ledge. Please. That's wonderful, Definitely. Dan. I'm glad that we have a life-saving story. <laughs>